What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 101 and as you can tell by the title, I have a box of awesomeness. So you guys were like, oh you should order one, I was like, nah, and you guys were like, oh you should order one, I was like, alright, fine. So, it's 11.8 pounds, it's kind of short, so I don't know if it's like an SMG or something of that. I hope I got something cool, obviously that's kind of what everyone hopes for in a box of awesomeness. Um, this is $150, but yeah, I mean it's going to be cool regardless, like I'm excited. I haven't done one of these in like any box of anything in a long time. I think I got one from GI a while ago. Oh, this has been like a while ago. Okay, so I think there's some other parts in here. Short box, I think this is the Classic Army Scar? Sport Lion Mark 16. I think this is, so this is one of the no, like the bigger packages, one of the more common packages. I think there was like an 80, 80 out of whatever chance to get these. What is this? <laughs> I, I got a spring uh, uh, friggin' Desert Eagle. Oh, that's funny. This is one of the better side package prizes. <laughs> Look at it. It's a Desert Eagle. It's spring. Huh, that'll be kind of fun. 175 FPS measured with a point. 12 gram BB, just just by the way, in case you actually thought, I'll have my cameraman open that, and then, I love it when my wife lets me go airsofting patch. Um, I don't know, you like if you knew, but uh, I don't have a wife yet, I'm 20, and uh, ain't about that game, and then a thank you. And a sticker, oh, it's just the UPS shipping label. Yeah, I put the patch in an, or in an interesting kind of bag, that's kind of cool, I might use that. Later. So let's open this. This is a classic, or uh, cl I think this is classic army um, Scar L, I believe. Spartan Imports. I don't know if this is. I don't know exactly what brand this is. We'll see as soon as we get in here. I have had a few Scar Ls, and BFC is by far the nicest brand. Yeah, it's classic army. So it's a classic army sport liner, which is pretty good. I'm content with this. Of course, it's not one of the cooler things, but. I do like scars. I think a scar is a really nice platform. I think it's a very, very good platform. I think we we're actually, our military at a point was going to transition to completely using the scar L. And I think it ended up being a little bit more expensive than just a lot of box sounds. Um, comes with a high cap magazine. Obviously, it's a, it's a newer gun, classic army. Um, most every gun comes with a high cap. A classic army. Actually, it's really good high caps from what I experienced. I think I had another one of these that just lasted like two years before finally blowing up. And some just aren't that great. And onto the gun itself. Actually, it feels kind of nice. Oh, it has the wire, the wire through the stocks. You gotta be careful if you close when you close it. It's just hard to put a battery in a scar with the wiring because the VFC's one has like a, a switch thing and that's kind of weird. Body's pretty much plastic, but actually feels pretty nice. There's nothing else in the box aside just a, a jamming rod. But the gun feels, I like the bottom rail. It's got a long bottom rail. Crappy flash hider. Don't think it doesn't come with any any sort of other flash hider. Oh guys, it's my, uh, it's my .12 gram BBs. Yeah, oh my goodness. That is the lightest thing I've ever felt in my entire life. It's double action. Pull it, no, pull the trigger. What? Oh. Hello guys, my name is actually Chris Costa, and uh, I work for, oh shoot, where's the Magpul logo? I work for Magpul, you can see under here, and uh, this is my Desert Eagle, and this is how you tactically shoot a Desert Eagle. I knock this down all the time. Freaking signs. But yeah, seriously, shoot the Desert Eagle. I'm gonna, that is a caution sticker. Does the mag even come out? <laughs> it does. The mag weighs more than than the gun itself. But yeah, what brand is this? I don't know, I think they're like 30 bucks. Cyber gun? Something. Cyber gun, yeah, it says on the side of it. Desert Eagle 44 Magnum Pistol. Uh -huh. It's really Milli Industries. 175 FPS. Uh, with a point .12. It has a built-in hop-up now. What? Oh my back. goodness, it's got hop-up. The back shooting system. Actually, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do some sort of video with use, this and just use, shoot a bunch of kids. Use, 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 use. But yeah! Wanna test it, maybe? Oh, we'll test the, uh, yeah, might as well test her. Uh, I gotta mark the pen out. Yeah, um, Scar L, not like the greatest prize. I was hoping if I got one of the uh, normal guns, it would be the GSG newer gun from 
It was like, a, it's, or it's a newer release. GS, I don't even know what brand GSG is. I think it's a cyber gun. gun. I'm not good. Yeah, you can. Here. We'll go back to my Desert Eagle. Actually, they gave me .12 gram BBs, so we'll see if the FPS is really 175. What would that put it at with a .2 gram BB? That means with a .2 gram BB, this shoots at like 100, maybe under 100 feet per second. But it has double action. Which is pretty much the only thing that matters when you have a gun like that. So yeah, guys, pretty decent uh, unboxing. If you guys, what do you guys think? Should I get more Evite Box of Awesomeness? Should I pick one up every three months that they come around? I know I could probably sell like this Classic Army and make my money back and then do it again. Um, and that's a pretty good deal. Like Classic Army, I think, is like $200 for a new one. And then I got this, which is just going to be for poops and giggles. And the patch. Which I will... I don't want to... This bag is awesome. I'm going to use this for like... Uh, putting cleaning cloth in, or if I want to put some extra paracord in it for AMS games or something. I love my wife. Or I love, and like the bigger lettering, it says I love, or lettering, I love my wife. And it says, love it when my life lets me go airsofting. Yeah, you have to take these screws out, so. <laughs> Just open the gun. Okay. So this is the gun, yeah, Classic Army, Scar L, pretty nice. Oh, my catch is a little sticky already. Wow, that is pretty sticky. It's all polymer build for the most part. The upper is also a polymer, unlike the Scar or the Echo One and GFC where the upper is metal. It feels pretty decent. It feels like it's good quality construction. Or Classic Army makes good guns. You see internals. Hop up looks pretty nice. Cylinder looks fine. Hopefully it shoots and shoots well. Probably end up using this as a loaner gun or I'll sell it to one of my friends. If you guys are interested in buying, what, buying this, well, you can probably PM me on Instagram or Facebook. But yeah, guys, Alec Mac, one and one. Evite Box of Awesomeness. Didn't get the grand prize, but whatevs. Maybe next time. I just got a cool pew pew BB. Double pew pew. I got double pew pew. That's, I can't really complain much. See you guys later.